Hi guys, nice bright sunny morning. Well, intermittent. There are clouds up there. Enough to stop these going while I'm talking about how sunny it is. Perfect. Anyway, while it's quiet, I did have a comment on my videos where I put these together from these kits ask him if we could do something with combining more than one kit together. Well, I do have quite a few of them, because I was given, I think I was given four sets, and I already had a couple of sets. Um, first thing that comes to mind is we can probably do... Just stop the sun. Um, we could probably do a four-wheel drive car. That little car in the bottom there runs on one cell and one motor. But I'm pretty sure I should be able to clip two together quite easily. So we could have a little four-wheel drive car. Whether that would make it go better, I don't know, because you've got double the weight as well as double the power. But I think that's what I'll do. So it's no big change, it's just pull them apart take the motors off them, or the motor and gearbox unit, and the solar panels and see if we can just clip the two motors side by side or forwards and backwards Right, let's see what we can do I reckon we can use this piece One wheel there, a couple of wheels there. It's one thing that lets these little kits down, the amount of flashing left over from the moulding. But on the other hand, that's what makes them really cheap. If you've got a cheap one, um, some manufacturers or resellers sell them for ridiculous prices. You won't be able to get these for about a pound. If you've paid £6 or £12 for it, as I've seen them priced, then you've been ripped off. Right, I'll have to move try out of this one. Be our one end. And the Funnily enough, that's one of the other wheels. Uh, there's nowhere to clip that. We 
is there? Not really. No problem, we can just stick that on with a bit of blue tack or something. Tape to stop that flopping around in the wind. Right, so there we are, a four-wheel drive solar car. And of course, it's clouded over out there. Um, I don't think that's going to give us enough light. Well, at least we can see which way around the wheels are turning. That's going that way. How about this one? That's going the other way. Okay, we need to turn one of these around, which is pretty easy. Right, that's going that way, that's going that way. So it'll go in that direction if it gets enough sunlight. Actually thinking about it, it might be better if we had it going the other way, because then I can tip that up a bit to face the sun, and that one a bit to face the sun. Yeah, we'll turn these round the opposite direction. You could swap the wires round, but why mess about with the wires when you can just do this? Right, so now we get strong enough sunlight, that's going to go that way, and that one was going, what happened there? Yeah. So uh, yeah, we could call that a solar dragster, couldn't we? It looks good, but we're going to have to wait for the sunshine again, because we had a sunny morning. It's now coming up to 12 o'clock midday and it's clouded over. So we'll have to wait for that. Mm. I don't think there's any way I'll get enough light from these. They're um, LED lights and you don't get enough light from LED lights to drive one of these. If I just Sit it up somewhere for demonstration purposes. But we need sunlight, so that'll have to wait. We're going out, there's no sunshine at the moment. I'm leaving that little mini camera in motion detection mode so if this does actually move then it might record it moving just a bit of fun morning guys I've got this little car set up on a smooth surface I've got the doors open what we want is some sunshine and there's a little bit of cloud up there which is just enough to kill it a bit because this needs absolutely perfect direct sunshine to get it moving it has moved a couple of times I'm probably gonna have to edit the video to show the times when it did move but now that I've set the camera up those clouds have come over and yeah it's not going. It's just not bright enough sunshine. If I pick it up, you'll see there's plenty of 
power there. Oh, some shining now. Sun's very intermittent at the moment, so I might have to. Ah, we did it! It went on its own. Brilliant. I was just going to say we'd have to edit the video and pick out the bits where it moved while I've been setting the camera up. Is that going to do it now? No. It's typical British weather. We need good, strong sunshine, and we got the clouds now. Most other formats of this toy don't need to get over the friction to get it moving. You know, if they're just propellers or whatever, they're okay. But where it's actually got to get the car moving, it just needs that much more power. It needs the full power of the sunshine. Yeah. Well, I've got my hand in the way, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, so even in this lower sunlight, the wheels spin, but there isn't enough power getting to the ground to actually move the car, unless it's brilliant sunshine. did it and I wasn't watching. <laughs> I was getting the breakfast. Oh, there we go. It's not going to do it now, is it? <laughs> yeah. So, absolute full sunshine. Put my hand in the way. Just in case you can't figure out what I'm doing, I'm holding it with the shadow. I wonder if it'll go on the floor anyway. Yes. Oh, brilliant. I didn't think that was smooth enough. Yeah. So, there we go. It does work. But you need the best sunshine available. which we don't have much of. Just wondering if I could turn that round the other way. Possibly. Get it to run backwards. Yes. <laughs> Sunshine again. We go in and we go in the opposite direction. Just to show we're not going uphill downhill. It is just a matter of enough sunlight.
summary time. Well, it works, but the same as all the other versions, it needs good full sunshine to get it going. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.